Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious fat head dough keto friendly pizza. So stay tuned. So first you would need some mozzarella. I use my measuring scale and I measured about five ounces of mozzarella cheese. Then I use Italian seasoning. I sprinkle that in there, and you, this is optional, guys. Um, you can sprinkle to you can sprinkle as much as you want to your liking. I put quite a bit because I love the taste of Italian seasoning on my pizza. And then next, you want to microwave the cheese for 30 seconds. Then you want to mix the cheese up. And I noticed that the cheese kind of sticks a bit, so you can add a little bit of olive oil in there that's optional to keep it from sticking. And then I add 2.5 ounces of almond flour to my uh, mixture. And keep in mind, guys, that this is a personal size pizza. It makes about four, um, four slices, kind of big slices. So we're only adding one half of an egg and one half teaspoon of baking powder. And the baking powder is used to help the dough rise when you place it in the oven. So after you put all of those ingredients in there, you want to mix them up really good. And like I said, if the dough keeps sticking to your hands, then you would want to add a little bit of olive oil or whatever you use for um, some type of oil. And if it's not mixing too well like this here in the bowl, then you could put it on a plate and mix it again. And you wanna keep mixing until it's not stiff but it's a little bit firm and not too gummy um, looking or feeling so after you mix it then I add a little bit of olive oil to the pan and I place the dough onto the pan and you can just spread it out, um, spread it out as big or as small as you want. And I do not make pizza every day, so I do not have a rolling pin. So I just use whatever is available in my kitchen. And here I'm using a glass. So you can use a glass, a cup, or a bottle. And that is, it works just as good as a rolling pin. And I spread my dough out a little bit more than usual because I love thin, crunchy crust for my pizza. So next you want to poke holes in your dough with a fork or a knife um, just to keep the, just to keep the um, bubbles from rising up in the dough. And then place it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes at 400 degrees until it is slightly brown, as you can see here. And also for the sauce, guys. So to keep it keto friendly or low carb, I just use low sugar or um, no sugar spaghetti sauce. You could use marinara sauce um, like everyone else uses for their pizza, but for mine, I use spaghetti sauce. And I just spread it on there and then I add cheese more mozzarella cheese and more cheese and now is the time you can add whatever toppings you like I just love cheese and pepperoni right now and I pretty much like to overload on the pepperoni. And after you put your toppings on, you can place it back in the oven for eight to 10 minutes at 400 degrees. And there you go, voila. 
your fat head keto friendly pizza enjoy guys and thanks for watching and please don't get don't forget to like comment and share thank you Thank you.